Hey guys, Mike with Jeeps on the Run and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the 2025 Jeep Wrangler and orders are open. But don't rush to your dealer just yet, we'll tell you why. Hot off the press, we've got a list of what is new for the 2025 Jeep Wrangler. Not a lot, but there's some interesting ones. Power locks and power windows are now, now standard on all Jeep Wrangler models. So the love of the crank window and the 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 manual locks even on those base sports are over power locks power windows are standard on all of them new for 2025 is what they're calling the 41 exterior paint it's going to be military olive drab inspired no surprise 1941 was kind of the kickoff to the wrangler well kickoff to jeep i should say wrangler really didn't start until the late 80s mid 80s the 41 is going to be the color uh and that looks like it's going to be a late availability so it's not going to kick off uh right away uh the phantom the fathom blue paint available on the 24 model year on the 392 edition uh, is now going to be available on most trims. Again, another late trim, another late available item. So if you like that Fathom Blue that was available on the 24 392s, which was only available on that Wrangler, uh, you're going to see it on other Jeeps moving into 25. Now here's a weird one. Active cabin ventilation uh, is available, not standard on all allowing customers to better pre-ventilate the cabin via a mobile app before entering the vehicle. Guys, I don't know about you, but that kind of seems like a worthless uh, feature to me. Not something I don't think I would ever use. And Jeep, if you're listening, your app needs a little more help before you start adding some features to it because the app uh, leaves a little to be desired. Uh, and I know there's been app issues in the past causing dead batteries. I think most of that issue has been fixed. But the app itself, I think, needs a little more um, polishing before we start adding active cabin ventilation. I'm curious what your thoughts are on that feature. I'm not even quite sure. I can't think of a situation that I wished I had active cabin ventilation. But nonetheless, it is here. So why shouldn't you run to your CDJR dealer and order a new Wrangler? Let's pause here for a second and I want to give a shout out to one of our site sponsors, Ray Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Fox Lake. And there's a few reasons why if you're looking for a Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge or Ram or even Chevrolet, they have a Chevrolet store as well, you should sh shop uh, the Ray Auto Group in Fox Lake. One, they're donating yet another brand new Wrangler that we will raffle off December 1st. Check out our YouTube videos on us giving away other Wranglers over the past couple years. 100% of the uh, ticket sales go back to Jeeps on the Run and we donate that to Toys for Tots. We, we have become the largest uh, donating group to Toys for Tots in Northern Illinois, in Illinois probably. And uh, huge, huge thanks to Ray Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram for propelling us to that next level. Uh, the dealership is instrumental to our group and we can't thank them enough for their donation. Uh, on top of that, as a customer, they do not play any of the pricing games and they do not play any of the games that uh, a lot of dealers do play uh, when you're shopping online. So regardless of where you live or where you're watching this video, please consider Ray Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram when you're going to purchase your next vehicle. Why shouldn't you run to Ray Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram now and order your vehicle? So orders are open you can take the dealership can take your order but production is closed so your order is going to sit stagnant so i guess to be fair you can place your order and i guess uh you're going to be first in line but we don't know when the factory is going to start producing these 25 models it's not a secret there's a there's a little bit of inventory out there so i think in the in respect to moving some of the inventory that's already on the dealership's lots uh, they are holding off on producing the 25s. I don't know if that's for sure why, but it's my speculation. Having said that, if you're interested in a 4xe, which if you don't know, we have a lot of 4xe content on this page, and we have a 4xe Facebook group with almost 17,000 members on it, and there is a ton of 4xe content in that group. Check out the link below on the 4xe page. If you're interested in a 4xe, on the 24 Wrangler models, there are a ton of incentives, talking $15,000 off 
on a 4xe. So if you're looking at a 4xe, I would highly recommend giving Ray a call because they are not playing any of the games and you can save huge on a 4xe right now. We also know for 25, they're bringing back the 392 Wrangler. Now, they called it the final edition in 2024, still called the final edition. I guess for those who bought the 2024, you still have a leg up. Uh, they are no longer coming with a toolkit and they're no longer coming with the front hoop on the bumper. The 2025 does not get those. So I guess you've got bragging rights as a 24 that you get a little couple extra options with your 392. I am curious, those of you out there who bought the 24 392, did you buy it because you were thinking it was the final edition and there wasn't going to be a 25 392? And if so, are you upset that there is a 25 392? Uh, personally, I'm loving that they're keeping the V8 as long as possible. I've got a funny suspicion that this truly will be the last one um, because it's going to be interesting to see where this technology really goes and what's coming next on the Wrangler platform. Uh, so, as always, guys, that's the scoop on the 2025. As more stuff comes available, we'll be sure to bring it to you. Uh, like, subscribe, leave us a comment. Let us know what you want to see in these videos. And uh, as always, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.